This is a Bucks fast break presented by West Bend, the silver lining. Hawks get the Bucks again, second time of the week, 121 to 106. They ended their 9 0 start last week in Atlanta. Hands Milwaukee their first home loss after a 7 0 start here tonight. Bucks still 10 and 3 on the season. But the one guy we're going to look at tonight, despite the loss for Milwaukee, is Marjan Bochamp. He had a career-high 20 points here tonight, Steve. And this guy was really, really efficient beginning to end here in this game, made his fourth start. And like you said, Craig, this really was a silver line. Look, the Bucks don't get the win, but to see Marjan go off and have 20 points the way he did tonight to shoot the ball as well as he did and to really end up with half of Milwaukee's three-point makes, as low as that was, only six makes for the team. Marjan had three of them and had himself a heck of a night. Big finishes like that, but really just showed a well-rounded game. Nice little step-back jumper right there, getting some big rebounds, finishing in traffic for the young fella to be coming in, playing with this kind of confidence, shooting the ball, really helping this team early on in the season is an awesome surprise. Giannis had 27, a game high in the loss for Milwaukee, only 11 of 18 at the free throw line. And Steve mentioned it, the three-point shooting the Bucks, just 6 of 29 as a team here in this one. Not nearly what it takes for what this offense is all about here to win games like they had against the Hawks here tonight. Let's listen in now on Coach Bud. It's going to be a, a hard sport, um, you know, if you can't make them pay from behind the line. So, you know, I think um, we'll look at the film, see what kind of shots we got. Um, if they're good shots, like, we're not going to change. Um, you know, you, you got to be able to make them. You never know when the dam's going to break. You know, I think we've been emphasizing offensive rebounding. You know, if you're if you're not making shots, there's lots of shots to go get. Um, it didn't feel like we did, um, you know, the job that was needed tonight um, on the offensive boards if we're going to shoot that percentage from the three-point line. Um you know, so we'll look at the threes. We'll look at, you know, how much we moved. Um, but, you know, we want to have great spacing. We want to have – we have good shooters. We believe in them. Uh, we want them to keep shooting. All right, Bucks back at home on Wednesday. Donovan Mitchell and the Cavs coming to town. That'll be the first meeting this season between an improved Cleveland team who also has uh, Darius Garland, who just scored 51 points Sunday in a loss to Minnesota. Ten threes for him in that game. So a more well-rounded Cavs team coming to town. You know, it really is, and it just doesn't get any easier for the Bucks this week. Obviously, Atlanta and this loss tonight, but like you said, Cleveland, they've got some really good players there. Donovan Mitchell, quite an addition, and like you said, the night Darius Garland had. Hopefully he can't follow that up with another 51-point game. But they're playing well right now, and this is a heck of a week with Philly coming up on Friday as well. So hopefully Milwaukee can continue to take care of business here. Back on the air, 6.30 Wednesday to get you set for that matchup against Cleveland. This has been a Bucks fast break presented by West Bend, the Silver Line.